It's a rainy, blustery day. I don't know about blustery. It looks, not, blustery means windy, but it's pretty uh, drizzly. Gray. And a big thing's going to happen today. It's going to be the raising of the farm stand. So as we head out Gaver Mill Road here, and I'm going to go film the event. I'm going to film the farm stand raising. Here it is. Yeah, here it comes. Guys pulling in. It's the corner of Route 9 and Purcellville Road. Uh, what we're doing here is we're going to erect this farm stand. It's been a long time in, in coming, so uh, we're very thankful. Oh, that truck's today. in the way. Hey, move yeah. that truck. Who's uh, in that truck? We've got this I, man I got here I from West Virginia. He's yeah, helping us. He's pretty, pretty uh, well versed in the realm of, of post and beam structures. So hey, we're just kind of learning from him and here? we'll see yeah. what happens. So these beams here were measured, cut to fit. We had to uh, plane them down to size and we had to uh, go off the plans to make each piece exact dimensions and we um, checked all the notching made sure it all worked perfectly and then we started putting everything together and for the last couple weeks we've been assembling these bents and as we put everything together we would peg it and you can see there the cross bracing that was all cut on a bandsaw the, it's got a slight arch to it and we also, if you look close, you can see that, the, that we, uh, we routered everything with a router, chamfered the edges of the beams. So we stacked the beams in order. You can see there's three beams on each stack um, so that they'll go in, starting at one end, we'll, we'll work our way across. And um, John and Jay, they've worked tirelessly, tirelessly on this, so we're uh, hoping this will go together real nice. <laughs> No, it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. All right, my name is Dan Nelson, and uh, just uh, I've been uh, hired me today to get the frame up and keep anyone from getting hurt primarily. I think so. Anyway, I, I, there's a there's a few of you that will be actually in here helping us raise the frame, and uh, we're going to have to get uh, we're going to have to get maybe as high as 23 feet up in the air. So. I'm, I'm assuming a couple of you are all, all right up on heights and on ladders and climbing on the frame a little bit. All right? Yep. Well, I think this is a pretty good experience for all of us here. We've never really uh, done a project quite like this with a post and beam, and it's pretty exciting. Hope it goes well. This right here, you see something about everything. It's a learning experience. Yeah, huh? I've never ever done beams in my whole entire life, but this looks really awesome. And I'm looking forward to learning a lot about putting beams up and whatever else we're doing out here. So. Okay, uh, today we're, um, we're making do with what we've got. It's a little bit rainy and wet, but uh, Hopefully we'll make good progress once the crane comes. You know, Jay, who is largely responsible.
Well, here's how it all started. We knew for a long time that this would be the perfect location for a really impressive farm stand. So we wanted to make it the best. We wanted to use heavy oak beams and timber frame construction. Now, this was burning in all of our hearts, but it burned mostly in the heart of one person in particular. It was Jehu. He could pull it through. After all, he was the one who read most of the books, and of course, he had collected most of the necessary tools for this project. Well, all of a sudden, we began to see all these humongous rough-cut oak beams showing up on the property. Stacks and stacks of them. So we designated a place for them, and they were carefully stacked and stickered there. They were so big, they couldn't be moved without a machine. So we really tore the place up. But the first thing we discovered is that each beam was sawn to a different dimension. So for weeks upon weeks, a small crew plugged away at planing each beam with a handheld power planer to get them all the same size. This, I believe, was the most arduous task. Once this was done, Jehu and his crew began cutting all the angles, mortises, and tenons. It had to be so precise, they couldn't mess up on even one beam, or else the whole thing wouldn't work out. It's unimaginable how much thought Jehu must have put into it, but we knew he was the one because his mind works as much as his hands. Well, at the same time, everybody else was up at the farm stand site working on the foundation. This was going to be a real heavy building, so we knew the foundation had to be sound. There's a lot of digging, a lot of concrete, and a lot of rebar. I think we brought in over 200 loads of fill dirt so far in this project. So at one point, months later, we brought all the beams up to the site and put them together, and after several weeks of that, well, this is what you see here today. And it's very clear that there was a dedicated human mind behind this. You know, Jehu told me the other day that this is surely the biggest piece of furniture he has ever built.